All right, so one question I get asked a lot from job seekers is which cloud platform should I focus my learning on? Is it better to learn AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud? Now, with the three big players battling it out for market share, it can be hard to figure out which one to learn. But the truth is, there isn't really a right answer. Each platform has its own strengths and weaknesses, and at the end of the day, it really depends on your own goals and what you want to achieve. Which is why in this video, I'll be comparing the three major cloud computing platforms so that you can decide for yourself which one to learn. I mean, I'm obviously very biased and love AWS because I previously worked there as a solutions architect for two years. But to make sure we're covering all our bases here, let's take a look at these five factors. So the first one is market demand, then job opportunities, ecosystem support, unique features, and learning resources. Before we dive in, please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to this channel to stay updated with cloud learning tips. All right, let's get into it. So first things first, let's talk about market demand. In today's world, we've all seen that more and more businesses are turning to the cloud for the computing needs, which of course has resulted in a huge surge in demand for professionals with cloud skills. AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, all three have a strong presence in the cloud computing market, but AWS still remains the leader with 30% market share. This means that there's a high demand for people with AWS skills, making it a great choice for job seekers. Azure comes in second with around 22% market share, and Google Cloud is next with about 9%. Even though these two platforms are smaller than AWS, they are growing very fast, so I still recommend learning them. If you're interested in working for a particular company, you can also do some research to see what cloud platform they use. For example, Netflix uses AWS, Spotify uses Google Cloud, and Coca-Cola is an enterprise customer of Azure. Now, speaking of companies, let's talk about the job opportunities within each platform. As I mentioned earlier, AWS has the highest market demand, meaning that there's a lot of jobs available. In fact, after doing a quick search, I found that there's over 150,000 jobs currently listed on LinkedIn that require AWS skills. Azure and Google Cloud also have a large number of job opportunities, with 50,000 and 20,000 jobs listed for each one. My advice is to take a look at the job opportunities in your local area to see which cloud platform is highest in demand. For example, if there's a lot of Azure job openings where you live, then it might be a good idea to learn that. There's also a growing demand for cloud engineering engineers and solutions architects that specialize in more than one platform. This means that if you have skills in two clouds, for example, both AWS and Azure, it could make you a better fit for companies that have a multi-cloud setup. But then again, I wouldn't worry too much about that as a beginner, since it's better to have a strong understanding of one cloud rather than a basic knowledge in all of them. Another trend in the job market is the rise of remote work and freelancing opportunities. With the global scale of cloud services, companies are now more open to hiring remote workers and freelancers to work on their projects. This means that you may not have to live in a specific location to secure a high paying job. So yeah, something else for you to keep in mind. Another factor to consider when choosing a cloud platform is the ecosystem and community support. What I mean by this is the amount of guidance and support from other users or experts within the cloud community. AWS has a very strong ecosystem. There's a wide range of resources available from extensive documentation to workshops and free online courses. They also have large communities of developers, architects, and other professionals who are willing to share their knowledge. This can be done through forums, meetups, or even conferences like AWS reInvent. Azure also has a pretty good support network and offers similar resources. Their ecosystem system seems to be about the same size as AWS and they have cool communities like Azure Tech Groups. Google Cloud has a smaller community from what I've seen, but they're quickly building up their resources and ecosystems. This includes documentation, tutorials, conferences, and meetup groups. And so if you're looking for a cloud provider with a well-established ecosystem and community, I would recommend either AWS or Azure. Before we move on to the next factor to consider, I'd like to introduce you to Datastax. Now, if you haven't heard of Datastax, they're a company that provides real-time vector data tools that generative AI apps need. Their product, AstroDB, is a great vector database for building production-level AI applications on real-time data. With AstroDB, you get up to 18% more relevant vector search results, 8 times to 15 times higher throughput, and can request responses up to 12 times faster. Not to mention, their database as a service integrates seamlessly with Azure, AWS, and GCP, and can run on all of those clouds at the same time. And so, if you're looking for a highly performant, efficient database service to handle vector, non-vector, and concurrent streaming data, I would recommend choosing AstroDB. 
I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you Datastacks for sponsoring this video. Okay, another important factor to consider is the unique features and services offered by each cloud provider. Let's dive into each one to see what sets them apart. AWS is known for its incredibly extensive list of services. There's over 200 fully featured services available, and this includes products like Amazon EC2 for compute, S3 for storage, and Amazon RDS for databases. What also sets AWS apart is the specialized services for certain use cases. For example, Amazon Recognition is a powerful tool they have for image and video analysis. Azure also has a large number of products and services with over 200 available. Some cool services they have include Azure Cognitive Services for AI and machine learning, Azure Functions for event-driven computing, and Azure DevOps for CI CD pipeline operations. One big advantage of using Azure is the integration they have with Microsoft products like Office 365. This means that if a company is already using Microsoft tools, they might choose to go with Azure. Google Cloud may not have as many services as AWS or Azure, but they do offer some pretty unique ones. For example, Google BigQuery is a great data warehousing and analytics solution. I personally also find that the Google Cloud interface is really nice and user-friendly, making it easy to navigate around. The final factor to consider when choosing between AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud is the availability of learning resources and training programs. Sometimes I hear people asking, what is the easiest cloud to learn? But the truth is, none of them are easy. No matter what platform you end up choosing, there'll always be a learning curve involved. I wouldn't worry too much about this final factor because all three programs have some pretty good free resources to help you get started. For example, AWS has AWS Skill Builder, Azure has Microsoft Learn, and Google Cloud has the Google Cloud Skills Boost. As long as you're willing to invest time into learning the fundamentals, you can become proficient in any of these three cloud platforms. All right, so this brings us to the end of the video. I hope now you have a better understanding of which cloud platform to learn. If you're interested in starting your cloud learning journey this year, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos for more cloud learning tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.